The Freedom Riders were another group who participated in nonviolent protests during the Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s. Freedom Riders rode buses from Washington, D.C. through states in the South to protest the segregation of public transportation. There were many people involved. The Freedom Riders were young and old. They were black. They were white. It was a diverse mix of people. Many were students in college. There were people along their route who did not support desegregation. These people tried to attack the buses. They would attack the Freedom Riders. The Freedom Riders would not fight back because they were advocates for nonviolent protest. There were people who drove the buses who had to drive these this mix of people through cities in the South as these people faced violence and discrimination at every stop. Sometimes they would try to go into an all-white waiting room. They would be attacked by police, by observers, and people like that. Police officers in Birmingham, Alabama attacked the Freedom Riders and assaulted them. John Lewis was a young organizer of the Freedom Riders at the time. He is an important player in the civil rights movement and eventually becomes a U.S. representative. Martin Luther King Jr. also supported the Freedom Riders. He met them in Birmingham, Alabama and tried to motivate them to continue on their way. These are people who believed so much in the cause of civil rights and desegregation that they were willing to face violence and physical and verbal abuse to try to show America that they needed equality as well. And through their nonviolent efforts, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was passed, as well as the Voting Rights Act of 1965.